Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the six sessions of the integration training. In this training, we'll talk about that um, how we can do the validation in our uh, in, uh, import set so message. In last sessions, uh, we built or we created our own import set and then using the import set, using the Wisdale, we are able to create a record uh, uh, into the problem table. Uh, we are able to transform the data from this uh, SOAP message uh, through the import set to the, to the target table. So today we'll do a validation. So, so last time I show you that, uh, how, I mean, how I can mark that mandatory, but it mandatory was not working. So those kind of validation will perform in today's session. So without wasting time, let's get started. So if you remember or watch my previous video, you see that this is my SOAP message and using this SOAP message, I am able to create a record to my uh, problem ta uh, table. So if I run this one, let's say in this configuration item description and problem statement, I'll put these three information. Let me go back to the problem table. So if you remember few things we have created uh, last uh, few records we have created in last uh, class. So let's say I will take that uh, this is my configuration item. So I'll copy this uh, zoom here and then if I pass that here I'll say that uh, soap message one and here I'll say that uh, One point one. So the, if we pass this information, it will be created uh, one record to our uh, uh, problem table with this configuration item. Let's run that. So if we run that, so these things we already configured in our last sessions. If you have not watched my last video, I'll suggest go and watch my previous video. So you can see there will be one problem record it created into that uh, problem table. So this the problem one record is created to the problem table. Now the, today we'll discuss about that how we can mark this configuration item is mandatory, and then how um, if we are passing the wrong configuration item. Let's say if we pass that. Let's say if we don't pass this soap message, to, it will be also create one record. So let's we'll do two things. So I'll remove this one and then pass that. It will be create one record without making mandatory. So although these things are mandatory, but it is not getting validated. So if I see here, the record is getting created with the empty configuration item. That's the one thing. And second thing, if we pass something called ABC and send that, system will also try to create one uh, record with this ABC. So you can see if I go back again and run that, it's create ABC. And if I open that, this ABC CI is by default created. So these are the, re these are the things we are going to be validate uh, today. So very first thing is that if we type that web services here, and if I scroll down, we you can be able to see this one problem uh, web services is created. I'll go back here. Under this web services, you can see these are the fields we have mapped in last sessions. And this is the transform map. In this transform map, as I, as I mentioned that the data will be come to this table called uh, staging table or the source table and from this table through the transform map the data is getting transformed to the target table now if you see here if i open this configuration item so this is the table map or field map which is mapped from the source table to the target table if i open this map you can see choice actions in this choice actions we have a options called create so it means that if, I mean, if my data is not available to the target table, choice action will create a record to this target table. So 
so if you see here in this case abc the configuration item was not there because of this choice action is create it's create a record to the cmdb ci table and then it is showing as a reference to overcome this one we can just change that and say that rejected once we change that rejected and save that and let's see So we just change that action to choice action to uh, reject it. And now if we go back to the soap message and here we, if we say that X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, there is no CI available. If we run that, and go to the XML, it's saying that the script, uh, they did not create any record because the reference fields value for the task.cmdbci is rejected. And that's the reason the system will not be create any of this record to this target table anymore. So if I refresh that, you can see there is no record is created that as X value. The very first problem or very first thing is that for reference fields or for any kind of drop down field, if they are uh, make sure that you select the choose actions is a uh, choice action is rejected if you don't want to create a record uh, to your new system if by default value is the create so that it will be create a record if you select the ignore and then save that the record will be created this value will not be uh, added to new system definitely it depends on the situation what you want so let's say if i run this one at that moment there will be a record created and then it will be uh, ignored that that value will be ignored so let's run that you can see the problem record is created, but in this problem record, it won't be create one XYZ configuration item, but it will be create one record. So this is the this is the meaning of this uh, choice action. Now let's go back to and select the reject action. Now next issue is that if we don't pass anything, let's say I'm not passing anything, any value. And if we run that, what will be happen? So if we don't pass anything and this is the right now um, if I run that is there will be one record will be created so let's run that once we run that you can see there is a one record created so if I run that you can see there is a one record is created but if I go back to this U problem table uh, this configuration item is mandatory and here in 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 the actual table the problem table also configuration item also mandatory so if i open this is the problem record in this problem record you can see uh, the let's say let's uh, this configuration item is also mandatory if we can we, we can mark as a mandatory so let's right click configure and mandatory this one I'll go back to the configure dictionary. And we can just mark equal to mandatory and click the update. So this is our problem and in this problem record that actually the configuration item is mandatory. And if you go back to this, uh, our staging table called u underscore problem. And if I open this record, here also the configuration fields is mandatory. So both the cases, this staging table configuration table is configuration field is mandatory. And your uh, actual target table, this configuration is a mandatory. Now what we'll do, if we run again for the uh, testing purpose called two. So this one will say that two. So this is the second validation we are going to do that 2.1. And if we run that, um, let's see what is happening. If we see that the problem record is getting created. Now, if I go back here and see that the problem record is creating without validating that this is a mandatory field. For that, what we can do uh, in this case, uh, you have a in this transform map, basically, you have a option called Ensports mandatory field. So if you uh, uh, if you see here, you have a options called only mapped field or all field. So if you want to validate all the field or you're going to map that only map field. So I will say that only map field and save that. 
So in that case, the only map will have the if they are mandatory, it will be through an error. So let's say this things is not there. Now if I run that and see the XML, you can see that validation is coming called CMDBCI is a mandatory field. So basically using that one, you can do, I mean, enforce mandatory fields using that. You can mark that what fee will be mandatory. So these things you can do. Apart from that, you can run your own uh, run script and validate that. And here you can write your own script to mark this validation. Okay, so let's that uh, let's come up that our requirement was let's say that this problem statement, uh, this problem statement always will be start with soap message, um, soap message keyword. Okay, so if the message is coming from soap message, I mean this problem statement will be always starting with the soap message. How do we validate that? If something is uh, let's apart from the soap message, if something else is coming, we want to uh, you know uh, we want to validate that uh, this is not the correct one. So we want to throw an error. So how do we validate that? For that, we can run a custom uh, message here, and then we can uh, show that. For that, what we'll do? Let's say uh, we are going to validate that in our uh, problem statement. So in this problem statement. So in this case, problem statement field name is the u underscore problem statement. We'll copy that. And here you can see we have a source target map lock is updated. These are the parameters is available. So we are going to check that where uh, uh, ps means the problem statement equal to source dot uh, this field. Okay. It means that whatever value will be present to the problem statement, we are going to validate that. If ps dot, uh, we are going to start with this parameter, I am going to put that. So let's say if the ps start with so message, we want to validate something. And equal to equal to, I'll say that true. What will be happen? It will be it. I will allow you to insert that. Okay. Else I will say that error equal to true. And here I want to set the error message. So if we want to show that error message, if we can see that this is the uh, we we have to say that error equal to true. It means that we are flagging that error equal to true. And if we want to do, uh, show the specific message, how do we show that? So if I go back to this import set dot row, this is the import set where all these row are stored. And you can see there is two field. One is the error, another is the comments. We can set the value of in this uh, field. So let's say I want to show the error message. So this is the field name where I have to uh, set the value. What is the field name? The sys error, sys row error. And here I need to set the value. So I'll say that source dot uh, sees error message i'll say that um that uh, problem statement should start with so something like that i have said that and let's run this our api and see it's working or not so i'll say that do nothing here if that is the message we started with the so message. I am not doing anything. If it is not start with so message, I'll I will not insert to this record and will throw an error. So let's open the problem table again. So I'll go back to the problem and open that. And if we run that uh, here. First thing is that uh, you can see. Uh, it is showing an error the CMDB CI is a mandatory. I have to select the CMDB CI. So let's say I will copy this zoom, uh, this one, and set that as a CMDB CI. Once we put the CMDB CI and run that, and you can see this problem record is getting created because this all this validation is passed. Because we put the three validation. First thing is that this is a mandatory. This has uh, this has to be this is a mandatory and this CI has to be present to this 
table cmdb ci table and the last thing is that soap message if we remove this uh, soap message condition and try to insert that and let's see uh, what happens to our custom uh, validation so i'll remove this one and run this and click the xml you can see it's showing that transform map script error so it is showing a uh, uh, error message called transform map script error using that we are showing some error now let's put uh, let's put uh, if you see here it won't be insert any record because we are showing or we are throwing an error because of this so it the message is not starting with the soap message what message or what error we are throwing that is coming as a error message transform map script error let's say that if we set the comments what will be happen so now at that moment it's just only saying that the transform map script error we are unable to find out that what is the error and how we can uh, identify that which is the error we are getting to get this error message uh, if we said that source equal to sys row cow error it will not show that exact error to our transform map or to our uh, soap message to get that what we have to do we have a uh, this is the import set row and we have a fill call comments these fields we have to set the value is the error value so what i'll do i'll copy this query and here uh, in this our transform map i will say that source dot this is the field name called sys import set comments. Here I will pass the comments. Okay. So that whenever the record will be created, the comments will be uh, stored to this table. Once I save that, I uh, once I put that and save that, and uh, we'll run this uh, soap message, we will be able to see the exact error that we are expecting. Because third party, they do, if they get the transform map script error, they don't know that for what reason they are getting error. To give them clear identification, you can say that uh, if you see right now, the status message is saying the problem sta statement should be start with so. So this way we can overcome this uh, complete situation. Now, if we type that so message here, this error will not become anymore. and it will be create one problem record successfully. So this is the how uh, it's supposed to be work. So you can see right now the data is getting created and if we remove this soap message here, the record will not be created. It will be throw an error to the system. So how, that is the how we can do error handling in our using our transform map. Also, if you go back to this transform map, uh, if I go back and uh, go back to the transform map, transform map itself, uh, let's say I will say that web service. So if you if you want to do a lot of more, uh, if you want to do few, few more validation uh, inside this web services and in transform map, we have a apart from this, uh, this run script and these are the checkbox. Apart from that, we have a transform map script using the transform map script you can also do the validations but uh, you can see this transform map script have a on before on start so what is used for what purpose i already have another video you can go and watch my video that's it for today thank you very much have a great day